Hello friends, so in today's video we are going to cover concise physics class 10th and chapter is calorimetry, calorimetry. We are going to cover all the topics like concepts of heat, heat energy, temperature and all difference between heat and temperature, thermal capacity. Followed by there are certain examples also given. We will cover all those examples. We will explain you how to solve this. Along way there are exercise. Uh, 11a which we solve all the questions plus there are numericals as well right so in this video we are covering till here right 30 questions plus 30 numericals we are trying to solve up to here right we will cover all the topics right so let's get started one by one so very first topic is concept of heat this is what i have just written here concept of heat so friends we know that each and every body or a substance right suppose this is a body okay let's say a iron bar okay so this is iron bar and this body consists of so many molecules right there are so many molecules present in this iron bar or any substance, right? So, any substance is made up of so many molecules. So, the molecules in a substance are in a state of random motion, okay? So, let's say if this is a molecules, then these molecules are moving in some zigzag direction, okay? Some random motion. And each molecule also exert a force of attraction means this molecule is been attracted by this molecule and this molecule is been attracted by this molecule, this molecule is attracted by this molecule and this molecule is attracted by this molecule and so on and so forth. Now because of these random motion as well as the attraction between these two molecules this possess a energy, right? And that's why we have two kind of energy. One is what we call as kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy is due to random motion, okay? So, because of this random motion, we have kinetic energy. Okay, this is kinetic energy and because of molecular attractive force, okay, so let's say this is molecular, molecular attractive force, molecular attractive force, we have a energy that we called as potential energy potential energy so in any substance or in any body we have two kind of energy one is kinetic energy because of random motion of the molecule inside that substance or body and another is potential energy that is because of the molecular attraction force of that body. Now, if we sum up these two energy, means the kinetic energy and potential energy. If we sum up these two energy, then that energy is called as internal energy. Okay. So, this is internal energy. This is internal energy. So, internal energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy. This will become internal energy. Now, if we combine all the energy of this substance, right? All the internal energy of this substance, then that will become heat energy. So, let me write this. The total the total 
इंटरनल एनर्जी इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ ऑल मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सो वी हैव सो मेनी मॉलिक्यूल इन इन दिस बॉडी सो दिस मॉलिक्यूल्स बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मॉलिक्यूल्स विल बी हैविंग अ टू काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी वन इज काइनेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल एंड इफ दी सम ऑफ दैट विल बिकम इंटरनल एनर्जी सो इफ वी कंबाइन ऑल द एनर्जी ऑल द इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ दिस बॉडी देन ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस और अ बॉडी S U B S T A N C E, that is called as heat energy. This is very important point. What is heat energy? Okay, this is very important in terms of understanding the concept. So the heat energy is the total internal energy of all molecules of a substance, right? so that's one now we have two things here let's say we have two similar kind of a body one is let's say this is iron bar okay this is iron bar of 1 kg right and another is also a iron bar of 1 kg this is again iron bar okay i am just drawing this in different color showcasing that this is hot bar this is hot iron bar and the blue one is cold bar okay this is the colder one right so the hot body has more internal energy okay so is saying that the hot body has more internal energy this means what this means this will be having a more potential energy and kinetic energy right now when a hot body is kept in contact with a cold body let's say this is a cold body and if we kept in contact with a hot body then the cold body warms up okay so then what happen let's say this is a cold body okay and uh, this is hot body then hot sorry the cold body start warming up okay it start warming up slowly slowly and samely and similarly the hot body starts folding right this is called it starts folding right so let's say this is hot body and this is i am just trying to mark this blue and red lines showcasing that uh, how uh, uh, a body is hot and how body is cold right so this body is hot this body is cold and once we put this hot body in in front of or or we are touching this hot body with cold body then transfer of internal energy happen right so when a hot body is kept in contact with cold body the cold body warms up while the hot body cools down why because the internal energy of cold body increases right so in internal energy of cold body let's say this is cold body increases right while that of hot body means this body internal energy decreases of hot body decreases thus there is a flow of internal energy let me write it here so there is a flow of internal energy here and the internal energy flow from where from hot body hot body to cold body okay so when we kept any hot body in front of cold body then there is a transfer of internal energy and that is from 
हॉट बॉडी टू कोल्ड बॉडी राइट सो द एनर्जी द एनर्जी विच फ्लो फ्रॉम हॉट बॉडी टू कोल्ड बॉडी इज कॉल्ड हीट एनर्जी और इन सिंपल वर्ड वी कॉल्ड एज अ हीट सो द एनर्जी so the energy which flows from hot body from hot body to cold body is called heat energy heat energy or simple we can say this is heat okay so far we good right so let me just write the definition of heat first so definition of heat is heat is the heat is the internal energy of molecules constituting the body constituting the body right so we have we have just read heat is the internal energy internal energy means the right uh, the sum of kinetic and potential energy of that body right so heat is the internal energy of molecule cons constituting the body and it it flows from where to where from a hot body to a cold body right this is what we have just read in case of this bar when we kept two bar one is hot and one is cold in such a way that they touch each other then internal energy flow flow from hot body to cold body right so it flow from hot body to cold body when they are kept in contact okay so this is the definition of heat what we just understood or what we have just derived right now like all form of energy heat is also having a measurable quantity so heat is measured heat is measured in a quantity of heat which we called as calorie metry okay so heat is measured by the quantity of heat which we called as calorie metry now another point is unit of heat unit of heat so in si unit if i'm talking now si unit of heat is joule j o u l e and is represented by symbol j okay now another most commonly used unit of heat is this is another one okay other than joule let me write that as well so another most common is calorie okay and we represent this as a symbol which is c a l cal so how we define this if we try to define this then one calorie okay 1 calorie is what 
वन कैलोरी इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ हीट वन कैलोरी इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ हीट एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रेज द टेम्परेचर रिक्वायर टू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन ग्राम वन ग्राम ऑफ वॉटर ओके बाय वन डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके सो ऐसे देर इज अ वॉटर ओके सो लेट से दिस इज वॉटर एंड इफ वी गिव दिस वॉटर अ हीट इनर्जी ओके वॉट इज हीट इनर्जी आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इफ यू मोमेंट्स बैट Heat energy is the sum of internal energy of that substance. Here, substance is what water. This water contains so many molecules, and these molecules contains two kind of energy. One is inter, one is kinetic energy, and one is potential energy. Right? So this is all about heat energy. So if we give the heat energy to this water, then whatever the energy required, whatever the energy. of heat is required to raise the temperature of this water theek hai now the temperature of this water by 1 gram let's say this water is 1 gram of water okay so if we give the heat energy to this water this water is of 1 gram such that there is a raise of temperature through 1 degree celsius right now here there is a assumption that if we try to give the same energy of water which is having let's say uh, 10 degree earlier but if we give same energy it will increase to 11 degree celsius or let's say 15 degree it will uh, if we try to give the same energy it will go to 16 degree celsius no that is not the case because वॉटर थर्मल एक्सपेंशन इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्म वॉट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स दैट हियर वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट हीट इनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रेज अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन ग्राम ऑफ वॉटर थ्रू वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एट ईच इनिशियल टेम्परेचर इज सेम मीन्स वॉट एवर द टेम्परेचर वी हैव दैट इज द सेम राइट हाउ एवर दिस इज नॉट possible this is not true because of the non uniform thermal expansion of water right right so how do we define this then so hence the precise definition of calorie which we also called as 15 degree celsius calorie is given as वन कैलोरी वन कैलोरी इज द हीट इनर्जी इज द हीट इनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रेज ओके द टेम्परेचर सो दिस इज द सेम डेफिनेशन वॉट वी हैव जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टूड राइट to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water now here is the change that is from 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius right so this is the important point in terms of calorie definition it is not like if we try to increase any temperature to any temperature the energy heat energy will be the same no because of non uniform thermal expansion thermal expansion of water we require to have a certain temperature which we consider as a basic parameter for defining the 
calories definition so when calorie is the heat energy required to raise temperature of 1 gram of water from 14.5 degree to 15.5 degree now the one unit calorie if we talking about si unit then if we try to put this calorie in si unit then one calorie one calorie or we can say one cal cal is equal to 4.186 joule or we can also write this as 4.2 joule approx right or we can mostly we can say one calorie one calorie is equal to 4.2 joule right now sometimes calorie this calorie is a very smaller unit we can also required to have some bigger unit which we called as a kilo calorie okay so if we try to write a kilo calorie let me write it here kilo calorie symbol is k c l so 1 kilo calorie is equal to 1000 calories and this is again equal to 4200 joule approx right so this is another unit of calorie in terms of if we are talking the bigger unit of calorie which is kilo calorie so 1 kilo calorie is equal to 1000 calories and which is equal to 4200 joule right so if we try to write this in a definition then we can say let me put this in next page or let me put it here i want to complete this topic in this one page only so that's why i'm putting here so one calorie one sorry one kilo calorie one kilo calorie is the heat energy is the heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kg friends just remember here i am using 1 kg earlier i was using 1 gram right so in calorie is 1 gram but in kilo calorie we are using 1 kg right 1 kg of what water from same temperature we are using 14.5 degree centigrade 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius right so this is 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius and friends this kilo calorie is generally used to measure the energy value of food right so this is basically we used to use to get the value the energy value energy value of food right so friend this is all about the unit of heat in joule calorie and kilo calorie so the next topic is concept of temperature right so we have just read while reading the concept of heat that when we touch or when there are two body that are kept in contact where one is hot and one is cold then there is a flow of heat a flow of energy right now we are extending that topic here so let me draw that diagram again so let's say this is a hot body and 
this is a cold body this is cold blue line means cold and the red or pink one is hot right so on keeping a hot body this one in contact with cold body there is a flow of heat from where to where from hot body heat flow from hot body to the cold body due to which hot body gets cooled okay so let's say after some time this body starts cooling so i am just denoting that part in blue that means there are certain area in this body which starts cooling and similarly in this cold body this starts warming right so i am denoting a red line to showing that this body starts heating right so this body starts warming which was earlier colder one right now the body which impart heat it said to be the higher temperature so the body which distribute the heat or which impart the heat is said to be the higher temperature so this is my higher temperature then the body which receive the heat and of course this is the receiver this is the colder body right so this contains the lower temperature okay so higher temperature body imparts the heat and heat flow from hot body to cold body right so how does this going to define here comes the concept of temperature right so temperature temperature determines temperature determines the direction of flow of heat right so temperature is the concept here which determine the direction of flow of heat that is from higher uh, from a higher temperature to lower temperature from hot body to colder body so when a body receive heat energy the particles constituting the body start vibrating more vigorously means the particles or the molecules of this cold body is is vigorously vibrating so this molecules start more vigorously vibrating okay so when a body receive heat energy let's say this time this cold body uh, start receiving the heat energy the particles constitute the body start vibrating more vigorously and that's why temperature rises right and here we need to understand one thing that physical state or dimension remain unchanged means this body shape and size remain unchanged so based on this understanding if we try to define the temperature then temperature definition will be like this temperature definition will be temperature is a parameter okay so temperature temperature is a parameter which determine or which tells which tells the thermal state okay thermal state means which body is how much warm right so this is hot body this is cold body right so or we can say the degree that is the degree of hotness 
और कोल्डनेस कोल्डनेस ऑफ अ बॉडी बी ओ डी वाई दिस ऑल्सो डिटरमाइन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो राइट इट ऑल्सो डिटरमाइन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो फ्लो ऑफ वॉट फ्लो ऑफ हीट वेन टू बॉडीज एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर आर placed in contact right so temperature determines the direction of flow of heat when two bodies at different temperature are placed in contact right so temperature plays a very pivotal role while defining the flow of heat right so this is the definition of temperature now if there is a no transfer of heat between two bodies let's say uh, we have two bodies this is one body and this is another body but there is no transfer of heat no transfer of heat right what does it mean it means that they are on same temperature the temperature of these two bodies are same okay but it doesn't mean they have equal amount of heat first of all let me write this in case of no transfer of heat we can say they are on same temperature but it doesn't mean they have equal amount of heat it doesn't mean why because heat contains the other other energy as well right we have potential energy we have kinetic energy what we called as a internal energy right so different body is having a different internal energy and that's why we can say heat energy might be different but the temperature will be same right in fact temperature alone does not tell the quantity of heat energy contain of that body right so temperature alone doesn't mean we can determine the heat energy of that body why because this require to have some another parameter as well right this depends upon the mass of the body temperature of the body and material of the body this i am going to explain next right so on imparting the same quantity of heat energy of different bodies let me write so on imparting the same quantity of heat energy to different bodies the rise in temperature the rise in temperature is different for different bodies why 
because the amount of heat contained in that body, this is the concept. Let me write it different color. Because the amount of heat, this is very important point, and this go this this point is going to derive certain formula as well, right? So the reason being that on imparting the same quantity of heat energy to different bodies, the rise in temperature of rise in temperature is different for different bodies. That is because the amount of heat energy contained in that body in a body that depends upon three things what i have just explained mass temperature and material right contained in a body depends on mass temperature of that body and the material i will explain this in much detail with some experiment in upcoming sessions right material of the body i will explain this uh, more in detail with some experiment uh, which is mentioned in your book let me just show you see here uh, we are explaining factor affecting the quantity of heat absorbed to increase the temperature of a body so as i mentioned this depends upon three circumstances three things one is the mass of the body another is increase in temperature of the body and third one is the material of the body so don't worry about it we'll when we are explaining this topic in uh, next few minutes then we'll be explaining in more detail we'll explain all the three experiments one is with mass one is with temperature and one is with the material of that body let me explain the unit of temperature okay si unit of temperature is kelvin and this we represent with a symbol k another most commonly used uh, unit for temperature is degree celsius degree celsius and that we represent like this this is degree and this is c this is capital c right if we try to relate kelvin and celsius then we can say temperature in kelvin is equal to by adding 273 plus temperature in degree celsius right or we can say more precisely temperature in kelvin is equal to 273.15 plus temperature in degree celsius right so here we can see just by adding 273 or 273.15 to the temperature in degree celsius we can get the value of kelvin right now there is a one important thing here which we called as an absolute zero so absolute zero let me write here absolute zero what does it mean so the zero of the kelvin scale when the kelvin scale or zero kelvin happen right so zero of the kelvin scale or absolute zero is the temperature in which molecular motion ceases right there will be no molecular motion molecular motion ceases and this is equal to minus 273 degree celsius or we can say minus to be very precise is 273.15 degree celsius right and there is no 
निगेटिव नो निगेटिव टेम्परेचर इज पॉसिबल इन कैलविन स्केल ओके पॉसिबल इन कैलविन स्केल वी कैन डिनोमिनेट माइनस टू सेवेंटी थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस बट नो निगेटिव टेम्परेचर इज पॉसिबल इन कैलविन स्केल देफो वी कैन से द डिग्री द डिग्री और टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज सेम टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज सेम इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बोथ सेल्सियस और डिग्री सेल्सियस and kelvin okay kelvin scales so this we can represent as delta t degree celsius is equal to delta t kelvin right and this is the formula of absolute zero see